Have you ever wondered what the future of camera technology looks like? Canon may have just given us a glimpse. With the unveiling of a jaw-dropping 410 megapixel full-frame sensor, the brand is pushing the boundaries of what's possible in digital imaging. While many are still adjusting to the world of 8K video, Canon is already introducing a new frontier, 24K resolution. But what makes this sensor so special? Why is it generating such a buzz online? Let's dive into the innovation and explore why this breakthrough could reshape the future of photography and video. Canon's new sensor boasts an astounding 24,592 by 16,074 pixels. That's 198 times the resolution of Full HD and 12 times higher than 8K. For photographers and videographers, this means images can be heavily cropped or zoomed in on without any noticeable loss in detail or clarity. Whether you're capturing a sprawling landscape or a detailed scientific subject, every leaf, rock, or distant texture retains its sharpness. This isn't just a marketing flex, it's a meaningful leap forward in how we capture and interact with images. Packing 410 megapixels into a full-frame sensor isn't a simple matter of cramming in more pixels. Higher resolution traditionally slows down processing and introduces complications like heat and data bottlenecks. To overcome this, Canon employed a back-illuminated stacked sensor design, which improves light sensitivity and data efficiency. The sensor also incorporates high-speed circuitry, allowing it to handle an incredible 3,280 megapixels per second. This enables efficient readout of massive image files without sacrificing performance. Another key feature is 4-pixel binning. This technology groups 4 pixels into 1, boosting brightness and improving low-light performance. When pixel binning is enabled, the sensor can shoot 100 megapixel video at 24 frames per second, offering more flexibility for different lighting and shooting conditions. As impressive as this sensor is, it's not quite ready for mainstream use. The current prototype is only capable of recording video at 6 frames per second, which isn't suitable for fast-paced motion or cinematic applications. Additionally, the immense data processing demands and potential heat buildup are significant engineering hurdles. And let's not forget diffraction, a common issue with ultra-high resolution sensors, especially when using smaller apertures. These limitations mean we're unlikely to see this sensor in consumer-level mirrorless cameras anytime soon. While this sensor may not land in the next Canon R-Series camera, its applications extend far beyond creative media. Fields like medical imaging, surveillance, industrial inspection, and scientific research stand to benefit immensely from this level of detail. In fact, Canon has a track record of developing cutting-edge sensor tech that ends up in specialized rather than consumer products. Packing this kind of resolution into a compact, reliable mirrorless camera would not only be expensive, it would be a logistical nightmare due to heat, size, and processing constraints. Although this 410 megapixel sensor may never appear in a standard camera body, it represents something more important, the direction the industry is heading. Canon's advancements in sensor architecture, stacking technology, high-speed readout, and pixel binning could trickle down into future cameras, making high-resolution imaging more accessible over time. Alternative sensor designs like Sigma's three-layer Foveon sensor or Sony's experimental stacked color layers could also reshape how resolution, color accuracy, and low-light performance are balanced. The megapixel race may eventually hit its practical ceiling, but innovations in design and processing are just beginning. Canon's 24K sensor is more than just a technological showpiece. It's a bold statement of what's possible in digital imaging. While it's not yet ready for consumer cameras, it sets the stage for the future. Whether you're a filmmaker dreaming of extreme post-production flexibility or a scientist seeking microscopic clarity, this sensor hints at exciting things to come. What do you think? Is this a revolutionary step forward, or are we approaching the limits of useful resolution? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. The upcoming Canon EOS R6 Mark III has generated significant buzz within the photography and videography communities. With its rumored release in the second quarter of 2025, it's set to become one of the most anticipated hybrid cameras of the year. While some uncertainty remains about the exact release date, many expect it to follow a similar trajectory to the Canon EOS R5 Mark II, which saw several rumored release dates before its official launch on July 17, 2024. 
However, experts believe the R6 Mark III will not be delayed to the third quarter of 2025 and will likely arrive within the expected timeframe. The Canon EOS R6 Mark III is expected to feature impressive upgrades, building on the success of its predecessor while drawing inspiration from Canon's higher-end models like the R3, R5, Mark II, and the flagship R1. These enhancements are aimed at strengthening its position in the competitive mirrorless camera market, particularly in comparison to rivals like the Sony A7 IV and Nikon Z6 II. At the heart of the R6 Mark III's anticipated performance improvements is the rumored 24-megapixel stack sensor, the same as the Canon EOS R3, paired with the Digic X processor. This combination is designed to push the camera's image processing capabilities to new heights, offering fast, responsive performance with advanced features driven by AI. When it comes to image stabilization, the R6 Mark III is rumored to feature up to 8.5 stops of internal stabilization, which mirrors the technology found in the Canon EOS R5 Mark II. This will make it highly effective at compensating for camera shake, ensuring that users can capture sharp, steady images even in low-light conditions or when shooting handheld. One of the more exciting aspects of the Canon EOS R6 Mark III is its shooting speed and burst capabilities. The camera is expected to offer a remarkable 30 frames per second with the electronic shutter, which will be ideal for sports photographers and those who need to capture fast-moving subjects. While no details have been released about the mechanical shutter speed, the electronic shutter's capabilities should make it a top contender in the high-speed shooting category. However, it remains unclear how long the buffer will be able to sustain these high-speed bursts, as this will be a key factor in its overall performance. In-camera noise reduction is another anticipated feature for the R6 Mark III. While the camera will offer built-in noise reduction to help reduce grain in images, the recommendation will still be to perform noise reduction in post-processing for more control and refinement over the final image. This approach provides photographers with greater flexibility and ensures they can extract the highest level of detail and quality from their shots. The video capabilities of the Canon EOS R6 Mark III are expected to be just as impressive as its photo performance. The camera will likely support 4K recording at up to 120 frames per second, which will be perfect for capturing high-quality slow-motion footage. It will also be able to record 6K at 30 FPS, providing videographers with greater flexibility in terms of resolution and frame rates. For filmmakers looking for even more versatility, the R6 Mark III is expected to feature a Super 35 mode that will allow for 4K recording at 60 FPS using Cinema Raw light encoding. Additionally, the camera will oversample 4K from 6K, which should enhance the overall image quality, providing cleaner and sharper video with improved dynamic range. The R6 Mark III is expected to offer the same XFAVC and XFHEVC codecs as the Canon EOS R5 Mark II, ensuring compatibility with professional grade workflows. These codecs are widely used in the industry and will make the R6 Mark III a reliable tool for high-quality video production. For wildlife and sports photographers, the pre-capture mode is another feature that is likely to be included in the R6 Mark III. This mode will allow photographers to capture fleeting moments before they even press the shutter, ensuring they never miss a crucial shot. This feature will be particularly useful in fast-paced environments where timing is everything. In terms of storage, the Canon EOS R6 Mark III is expected to include a CFX Press Type-B card slot, which will provide fast read and write speeds, allowing users to capture high-quality images and video without worrying about performance bottlenecks. However, unlike the Canon EOS R1, which is rumored to feature dual CFX Press card slots, the Canon EOS R6 Mark III will only include a single card slot which may limit its appeal to professional photographers who rely on the redundancy of dual cards for critical shoots. The electronic viewfinder and LCD screen on the R6 Mark III are expected to be similar to those found in the Canon EOS R5 Mark II, offering a high-quality display with excellent clarity and resolution. While some users have raised concerns about potential magenta or green tint issues in Canon's imaging, it's likely that the company's AI improvements will address these issues, ensuring more accurate and lifelike color reproduction. 
Pricing for the Canon EOS R6 Mark III is expected to be around $2,499 US dollars at launch, which aligns with the pricing of previous R6 models and the R1 at launch. Current pricing for the existing R6 Mark II is about $2,199 US dollars, with occasional rebates bringing it down to $1,999 US dollars. In comparison, the Nikon Z62 and Sony A7 IV are also priced around $2,500 USD, with occasional rebates of $200 to $300, making the R6 Mark II a competitive option in the market. In summary, the Canon EOS R6 Mark III is shaping up to be a highly capable hybrid camera that promises to deliver top-tier performance in both photography and videography. With its advanced features, including AI-driven autofocus, high-speed shooting, and impressive video capabilities, the R6 Mark III will compete directly with the likes of the Sony a7 IV and Nikon Z62. Canon's decision to integrate cutting-edge technology from its higher-end models into a more affordable body makes the R6 Mark III an enticing option for both enthusiasts and professionals alike. If the rumored specifications hold true, the R6 Mark III is set to be one of the most powerful and versatile cameras in its class.